How's it going everybody, Ben from Base at Mew here and welcome back to the channel. This video is another entry on my Collecting on a Budget series, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first card featuring on this list is the Great Tusk EX, but not just any Great Tusk EX, this is specifically the Japanese version from Scarlet EX. This one is available for around 11 dollars 50, or 11 euros 50, sorry, 11 euros 50. I do know that the English version is considerably cheaper, almost half, Actually, more than a half the price of the Japanese version. But believe you me, if you see the Japanese version in person, you're gonna be convinced that it's a much better card. You know what? I'll put up some pictures, like right here, of a comparison. Believe me, the difference is like night and day. It's really worth it. I hate doing this at the beginning of the video, but if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and it really helps out a ton. Thanks. If you still want to choose the English one, no matter what, I mean, I guess that's a little bit cheaper at around 6 euros for a near mint copy. Over on the US side, what here for eBay on eBay.com, we have one for $10, so it's, it's a little bit cheaper than over on the European side. I mean, most of these are going to be cheaper, especially on eBay as well. That's something I've noticed with these newer um, special art rares. A lot of them are cheaper on eBay, not just for you guys from the US and Canada, but also for us Europeans. They're also a lot cheaper there, which is kind of strange. Usually card market is a lot cheaper. But anywho, here's another special art rare. This is the Duck Spun EX. I actually said this while opening the Stellar Miracle. That is one delicious looking card and I really love this card. I mean, to be fair, I do really like the Mel Tank from V-Star Universe, which also has a bunch of food in the background. So this is just perfect. Um, this one in Japanese is 20 euros, while over on the US side it's 15 dollars. So it's actually 5 dollars right about there cheaper. And I do still recommend this one. This one is going to be released in Stellar Crown, which is around two weeks away, I guess, from the release. Yeah, it's gonna be Friday in two weeks, right out there. It's gonna be exciting, I'm gonna be opening a booster box as always. So if you do want to wait for an English version, I suppose you can. Although when Stellar Crown does release, the card is gonna be pretty expensive. As is usual with these newer sets, like the cards are gonna be very expensive when they're, when they're completely new. So... Either way, I think the Japanese version is the better one, because I keep going on about that texture, but I do have to say it every single time. After now having converted all of my English special art rares or special illustration rares to Japanese art rares, I just can't stress enough how much of a difference it actually is. And the good thing is, for the most part, the Japanese ones aren't that much more expensive than the English counterpart. For some of them, the Japanese ones actually tend to be cheaper, but that's on another note. Here is, I do believe, no, that's the second to last um, special art rare on this list. It's the Mew EX from the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. A box and a set that you really shouldn't open. I got really lucky with my first box. The second one I opened was basically what I expected. Nothing but, I think, one full art and maybe one trainer, although I'm not too sure. Um, this one right here being um, pretty cheap at seven euros fifty right about there, but over on the TCG player site, substantially cheaper compared to card market at just four dollars. I guess with with shipping, a little bit over five dollars, but this is still a pretty cool card. I really like this one. It's a Mew, of course I like Mew. All right, and here is the last special illustration rare on this list. It's the Kingdra EX from the, I want to say, recently released Shrouded Fable special illustration rare box thingamadoo. That's exactly what the box is called, by the way. Do not look it up. This one being at around 8 euros, although um, these sellers are from the UK, so you might have to pay tax. Um, this seller is from Germany, so there's 9 euros for that one. Over on the TCG player side, it's actually very similar price, shipping included for $9. So there you go, it has been going down, of course it has. It was just released like a few months ago, a few months, a few weeks ago. Either way, this is an awesome card. If you do want to open Shrouded Fable, which I highly suggest you do not, because Shrouded Fable is like, kind of like a weird set. Honestly, it just feels like everyone has already forgotten about Shrouded Fable. Everyone, I feel like, has already forgotten that Shrouded Fable exists. 
and that Shrouded Faber was a special set. That's how bad and unrememberable this, this set was. Um, if you do want to open the box, you get this card, of course. The box itself is actually pretty fun to open, but I mean, you're probably better off just buying the promo itself, because opening Shrouded Fable is not fun in the slightest, let me tell you. All right, moving it on to the next set of cards. Here we have the Eternatus VMAX. This one being available for seven euros. And this is another one that you really have to see in person, especially with that Japanese texturing. I know Eternatus isn't the, the most popular Pokemon and Rose isn't the most popular character out of the Pokemon universe, but you have to appreciate the illustration. Let me just switch over to eBay because then you can actually see the illustration proper. It's also illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. Over here on eBay, it's around $7. And this is insane. This is such a cool illustration. It's just, I want to say it's perfect. If you see it with the texturing, it's even better, but still. Mitsuru Arita illustration and it's affordable. What else do you want, right? Now here we have the Suicune V. Now I think I've actually featured this card multiple times in some of these videos, but I just have to keep saying it, especially with V-Store Universe being pretty much out of print by now. These cards are gonna go up eventually. So you might want to grab yourself a copy of this one. Um, the Japanese version specifically, once again, better texturing and all. I do actually believe this is cheaper than the English version too. This one is 13 euros. Let me actually check the English version. So the English version for a near mint English one, yeah, it's 18 euros. So at least f in Europe on card market, the Japanese version actually ends up being cheaper right here over on eBay. It's $12.10, also has best offer. Oh, this one is out of stock, hang on, let me find a different one. All oh, right, and here we are. Suicune over on eBay, it's $12.80, which is still pretty cheap in my opinion, and it's an awesome card, as I said. And it's much cheaper than the English version, so might as well go for it. Next up is the Superior V. Now, this is another card I featured before on, on the channel. This one is actually really, really cool because it's still pretty affordable. The English version, that is. This is a weird case where the Japanese version is more expensive. Um, this one being 8 euros and 50 cents. Well, over on TCG Player, you are in luck. It is even cheaper. $6.27 with shipping included. That is an awesome price. Look at the graph. I'm actually interested. How how far did it go down? Yeah, look, it had like a little uprise right here at 11. And then it's now all the way down. I think it's, it's as low as it's ever been. Yeah, look at this. Now is a great time to buy this card. I'm actually kind of surprised that this one has been steadily going down still. Man, this is a really, really cool card. The illustration itself, man, I really like this one. And you should definitely have this one in your collection. Now, moving it on to the illustration rares. For the most part, these are going to be Japanese because, for the love of you, do not buy the English ones. They are so overpriced and I would just go with the Japanese one. Unless, unless you actually plan to play with the card or maybe you're one of those collectors that actually likes to read the card they own, then by all means, go for the English one, I suppose. For me, it really doesn't matter which language the card is in. The illustration is going to be the same no matter what. And when it comes to texturing, though, that is a bit different, but more on that later, I suppose. Um, this one right here, the Nine Tails from Ruler of the Black Flame. This one is available for two euros fifty. Can you believe that? Two euros fifty. Pretty sure the English version is like ten dollars or ten euros. Near mint English. No, it is ten euros. Okay, I was correct. Interesting. Over on the eBay side, it's a bit, a little bit more expensive for once. Um, two dollars ninety nine. So might as well just say three dollars for this one. Still an amazing price compared to the English version. Now, right here is one of the two cards that I did feature in an earlier video, but when I did feature them, I said not to buy them because they were overpriced. And look who turned out to be correct. Ah, yeah, good good on me. Um, this one is available for four euros. I remember the time, about a year ago, might have, might have been a little over a year ago, where this one was sitting at 25 euros for the raw card. I remember those times. And so seeing this one come down is really, really cool. Over on the eBay site, $4.40, amazing price. And the illustration itself is so cute. From Incandescent Arcana, I think may... I want to say people sleep on the card, but then maybe not really, because it was kind of expensive for a while. But that might have also been like 
artificially in inflated together with the whole Lily situation that I won't go into any further. Let's just move to the next card right here. The Brakeson from Incandescent Arcana. A lot of cards from Incandescent Arcana, but they are really, really good. Um, this one being available for even cheaper, 1 euros 50, but I guess there's one for 3 euros right here, right about there. Over on eBay, it's $2.70, and this is another really cute illustration. This one features Serena and Brakeson, of course, whereas this one features um, Lysia and the Altaria. Speaking of Lysia, I think she might be getting a full art in... In maybe the Paradise Dragona set, although I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that. But I have a feeling she might be she might be due for another full art. Because I'm pretty sure the last full art we have of Lysia is actually from Celestial Storm. And that one is really, really pricey. That's like one of the most expensive English full art trainers out there. So I think she's due for another full art. Um, any who's, any who'sers. Okay, and here we have the last illustration rare on this list. It's the Mew from V-Star Universe, available for 5 euros. And this card is very special to me indeed, because this is one of the only two cards that I own in a CGC Perfect 10. Yeah, I sent three cards in right before they changed their grading scale, like I think one or two months uh, before, and actually end up getting this in a Perfect 10, as well as the um, Friends in Gala from V-Star Universe of the Perfect 10. And this is like a, a really centerpiece of my Mew collection. I'm really happy that I own it in a Perfect 10. But yeah, this one, the raw card being available for 5 euros. But over on eBay, a little bit more expensive for you guys. Um, this one available for around $8, but in my opinion, the card is worth it. I mean, any card that features Mew is worth it, but no, this one, I really do mean it. Because the illustration itself is super cute. This is like the perfect illustration for me. Not only does it feature Mew, it also features a bunch of Pokemon in the background. As well as like a forest scene. And I'm a sucker for like forest backgrounds or jungle backgrounds. I just love them. You also have a river down here. I mean, this is great stuff. Not just saying that because I'm a Mew fan. No, the card is truly and truly gorgeous. Now here we have another Mew. Do you sense the theme right now? It's all about Mew. No, it's not. I would love to make a video of just Mew cards, but man, that would take ages, wouldn't it? Anywho, this one from Celebrations kind of surprised me how cheap it actually still is. This one being available for under 30 euros. That's insane. Like, Celebrations is long, long out of print, and if you check the prices of the products, you better not buy any products. I think the last Minitin I bought for my birthday, that one was also or already pretty expensive. And this one being 30 euros, while over on TCG Player, it is even cheaper at just $18.50. Can you believe that? $18.50 for that one. I guess with shipping it's $19, so let's just say 20 just for the sake of it. I'm actually curious to see what the price development has been. Seems like it's been on a steady decline. I wonder why, though. Do people just not like this Mew in particular? I think it's great. Honestly, I'm so crazy that I'm actually thinking about just buying nine, nine copies of that card and just filling like an entire binder pitch, or like half a binder pitch, I suppose. Man, I really like this card. This is amazing. I have it multiple times. I have it like, I think twice in English, twice in Japanese, and one... No, twice in Japanese. I don't have it in Chinese. I really do want it in Chinese, but oh well. You can't catch them all. Or maybe you can. Either way, I do also have a few full art trainers, as I usually do. Only two for now. I say a few. I only have two. Anyways, the first one right here is the Dendra from Paldea Evolved. And this one being 8 euros, a stark contrast to the Japanese price. Although, I recently checked the Japanese price because I was really curious. And the Japanese card has come down a ton. I mean, these are Korean. Let me just change the, the language to Japanese. Here we go. $80. I mean, yes, that is a lot. But if you check the price up here around March, where a triple beat was released, 550. This card was really expensive when it first came out and was really crazy. I'm glad to see it came down, especially in Japanese, but yeah, just grab the English version for this one. It's fine. 
Um, one thing that really does bother me, well, first of all, the English price, or the TCG player price, sorry, TCG player price, around $11, a little bit more expensive over here. The one thing that really bothers me about this illustration, I don't know what this is supposed to be. What, what, what is this supposed to be? Like, I have no idea. I, I, what, what is that? I have genuinely no idea what that's supposed to be, and that kind of bothers me. That may be the reason why I haven't actually bought this card for my um, Special Illustration Full Art Trainer Collection, which I'm eventually doing. Yes, eventually. I do have to buy the EX cards first, and so many other cards to buy, and so little time, so little money. You, you know the struggle. Anyways, let's move it on to the Furry Soda Girl from Silver Tempest. I've actually pulled this one in Japanese, and I've pulled the rainbow version in, in German. So there you go. Um, the standard version is a lot cooler, though, and the standard version is around €6.50, while over on TCG Player, this one is $2. One thing I've noticed, well, apart from the Dendra, a lot of the Full Art Trainer cards are pretty cheap over on TCG Player and eBay.com. I think that basically like, confirms my suspicions that Full Art Trainers are not very popular over in the US and Canada. I think they're a little bit more popular over in Europe, and then, of course, China and Japan, they're really, really popular. But I guess it just sees how different, how different each region is, eh? But here we go, this, I mean, for $2, that's a steal. Like, just, if you order anything, anything of TCG player in the next few days, just throw this card in there, do yourself a favor, throw this card in there. It's well worth it. It's so lovely illustrated like I and it's also come like autumn is also coming up eventually So just go with the theme, right? Just go with the theme now Here's the last card that I do want to feature. This is another card that I featured like a bunch of times in a bunch of videos And I think a year ago this was sitting at three euros now. It's five euros a little bit more expensive But this is an amazing card if you have a friend family member husband, wife, fiance, whatever, you name it, that has an upcoming birthday, just give them this card, if they're into Pokemon. Actually, if they're not into Pokemon, give them this card anyways, they'll love it. They'll love it. They'll be into Pokemon no time, trust me. They will be into Pokemon no time if you give them this card. It, it's... It, I can't even say anything about this card, it's just amazing. Let's just move on to the TCG player price. A little bit more expensive, $6.40. Still an amazing price, and obviously way cheaper than the original print. Yeah, if you have anyone that has an upcoming birthday, give them this card. They will be thrilled. Well, but I guess it does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for the future videos. Other than that, right here's a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here's the subscribe button, click this one first, and click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.